formation. That's good. Let's go. Nine. On, oh, hey. Head and eyes up. Hello. Staff Sergeant Ken Weikert here, Army Master Fitness Trainer and proud member of the Army National Guard. Keep going. That's it. Good. Hello. Hey. You know, one of the better ways to tricking your body to go low enough while doing the push-up is by doing an uneven push-up. All you need is the helmet that you would wear as a soldier or a bench of some kind, as long as it's eight to 12 inches off the ground. Get down in the push-up position with one hand high and one hand low. Perform the push-ups by keeping your head and eyes up, your feet together, or up to 12 inches apart. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, deeply and naturally. Breathing in on the way down and out on the way up. Reach muscle fatigue, try the authorized rest position by bringing your rear end up in the air and you can slightly bend your knees, but do not sag. Straighten out one more time, try it again. All the way to muscle failure. Then when you reach muscle failure on that side, switch to the other side. If you feel that you haven't had enough rest, do 30 seconds of crunches in between these sets. Continue. Go all the way to muscle failure. Raise up. Rest. Straighten out. Try it one more time. Go to muscle failure. What you've done here is by having your one hand high and one hand low, you're forcing a deeper bend on one side. You maintain proper form. You're fooling your body to go low enough. So when you normally go to the regular push-up after performing this activity, during your routine, you're gonna see that your push-ups have a lot better form. Try it now.